Now, we do so much to fight wildfire when it's out in the wild, but as it then approaches the communities, the built environment, we're looking at how you can narrow its path of destruction and keep that fire from spreading inside the community. The Wildlife Risk Forum is educating people telling them how they can best keep their homes safe. The Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety is saying even if you don't live close to open lands, your home could still be at risk. They demonstrated this in front of a fire ready and a not fire ready house. It's not the flame, it's the embers that fly and get to you. You want to make sure it's just going to fizzle out and not ignite your landscaping, your furniture and ultimately your home. As embers are the main cause of home ignition, there are a few things you can do to keep that away from your home. First and foremost, it's about defensible space. They say to give your house five feet of room from anything combustible, even healthy watered plants. Those become little green gas cans and they light on fire and they cause a threat to our buildings. That also includes fencing material. Make sure that the last five feet that touches the building is non-combustible and that's going to prevent the fence from wicking the fire right to your house. Building features are also an important piece. Make sure that your attic vents are screened in because you want to make sure embers can't get in. Each of these tips were shown in their demonstration as the fire ready house never caught fire due to the initial five feet of defensive space.